today we're visiting Majestic Elegance Costa Mujeres, a luxurious escape just north of Cancun. You'll discover everything from stunning beachfront views to gourmet dining and unforgettable experiences. Hi, I'm Asai and I am a travel agent and the owner of Scenic Views Travel. And here on this channel, I bring you resort reviews, travel tips and tricks, and all the inside tips that a travel agent can bring you. So today I'm taking you to Costa Mujeres, which is about a 30 to 45 minute drive north of Cancun International Airport, depending on traffic. And we're gonna be visiting the beautiful, majestic elegance Costa Mujeres. This area tends to get a little bit less of the sargasm, typically little to no sargasm based on its geographic location. So that, that makes this a really fantastic area if you are traveling during those high sargasm months from usually April through October. So welcome to Majestic Elegance Costa Mujeres. This is a family friendly resort and there's actually an adults only section within this resort. Now, just because I say that it's family friendly doesn't mean that it is a true family friendly resort. And I will tell you why. This resort tends to be adult focused. There are about 520 rooms at this resort and 70% of those rooms are categorized for adults only within the adults only section, the Elegance Club. So the extra 30% would be open to families within their family area. And we'll get into the, a little bit later about what makes this a good resort if you are a family and why you may choose this particular resort out of others. Now, as soon as you walk into the lobby, you will notice the opulence. And that is the reason it is called Majestic Elegance. It is elegant, there is marble, the views are sweeping, the windows are large, and it is just a gorgeous sight as soon as you walk into this lobby. You'll find your check-in desk to the left, there's a nice large seating area right in the middle, and then the piano bar is off to the right. And as you move forward through the lobby, you'll notice this grand staircase taking you down to the other lobby bar, because what's better than one lobby bar? Two. Now you'll notice as you walk outside of this resort that there are little pools and fountains and the grounds are manicured and it is much less of that tropical vibe and much more modern, sophisticated, and again, very elegant. Now the lobby area is where you will find all of your amenities, including all of your restaurants. Now I'm gonna to refer to a couple of notes here but here are the restaurants that are available. There is an Italian restaurant that is only for club level guests staying in the Elegance Club, the adults only section, and that does require a reservation. There is the Bistro Brasserie, which is an adult only French restaurant. You do not have to be staying in the Elegance Club and a reservation is also needed for this restaurant. There is the Mexican restaurant and the steakhouse and no reservations are required for either of those restaurants. And then you have the Asian restaurant and there are eight teppanyaki tables, which will seat 10 people at each. They do require reservations for teppanyaki, but there's also a sushi bar that does not require reservations. Something unique to this resort is they have something called Majestic Snacks. And this little snack bar is open until 1 a.m. And you can find all of your late night bites like burgers, fries, all of those things that you may want to eat after a long night. Also in this area is the sports bar. And the sports bar does convert over to a disco that stays open until 1 a.m. as well. Here at the theater is where you will find nightly shows. They also will do little vendor events and have activities and things here on this main plaza. Now let's take a look at the accommodations here at this resort. The first room we're gonna take a look at is a plunge pool suite. I want to apologize for the vertical format of these videos. So this room is also what your standard junior suite is going to look like. There is your bed. You have a nice, large, open style bathroom, but uniquely to this plunge pool suite, you have this staircase leading outside 
and wait until you see what is up here. You have your own little seating area outside and your own plunge pool with little beds here. It is just so stunning. And take a look at these views. It doesn't get much better than this. The second room we're going to take a look at is a one bedroom suite. This particular room is a swim up, but you can see that you have a half bath. You have a full separate living room area. I believe that couch may turn into a sleeper. And I think in fact, some of these rooms actually offer a Murphy bed if you are in the family section and need a second bed. Here is your bedroom. You can see that all of the furnishings are very similar. Check out that tub. And here is the bathroom. Again, more open concept like most of the resorts have been doing lately. And then you will go out onto your balcony. Check out the mini bar. This room is located in Elegance Club, so some of the amenities are upgraded. But you have this gigantic balcony area with a swim up suite. Now, this swim up suite is considered one of the main pool areas. So Keep that in mind if you were to be interested in this particular room category. Now, if you do decide to stay in an Elegance Club room, you will also receive butler service, a few extra amenities, including one bottle of liquor in your room, and a couple of, like I said, extras, but you also have access to the Elegance Club lounge, which you can see right here with plenty of seating areas, drinks and quick snacks and things like that. Okay, the pools and the beach, we will touch on the pool first. So on the family friendly side, you'll see that there is this very large sort of two tiered pool. It does seem a bit kind of removed from the action because of how it's set up. There's like a giant wall on one end and then you have the lower tier with a giant wall and the lower tier is actually where the swim up bar is. And unfortunately you don't get a view of the beach, but the pool is large. And if you just want to sit by the pool and take a dip, it's perfect. And then on the elegance club side, you have the swim up pools, which actually have a little swim up bar in some of them. And then you have the main pool located just off of the beach. And then we touched a little bit on the beach earlier in this video, but Costa Mujeres beaches are beautiful. It is a nice white sand, typically no rocks or anything to worry about. The sand in the water is free of rocks and it tends to be a little bit calmer and clearer and just a really beautiful beach atmosphere. So at this resort, you will find a teen club and kids club, even though it does tend to be a little bit more adult focused. You also will have a fantastic spa and fitness center. And one of the great things about this resort and why I stated that maybe a family may choose this is number one, if actually there's a few reasons why a family may consider this. This is a fantastic resort for weddings because you can have adults in an adult only section and families in the family section, but they can still come together go to entertainment at night, go to dinner together most nights, and the grounds are just beautiful. Just, just take, take a look at this particular option where you can get married and the ballroom where you can have a reception. Secondly, this resort could be great for families if your kids are very young or don't really care about having any of those really kid-focused features like a water park, or a lazy river or constant activity all day long. If they are more just chill, go with the flow, this might be the perfect resort for you. So a little bit of the pros and cons. I do think this resort is excellent for honeymooners. This resort does tend to come in at a bit of a more moderate price range, even though it looks as elegant as it does, it really gives you a nice luxurious feel for your vacation. This is also, as I mentioned before, a wonderful option for groups, maybe large multi-generational trips. Maybe you have, you know, a couple that wants to stay in Elegance Club and then the grandparents want to stay there, but then 
you know, their brother and sister-in-law and all the kids have to stay in family on the family side. You have that option here. And again, you can still all come together even though you're staying in separate sides of the resort. One of the downsides to this resort is it may feel a little remote for anyone that is interested in taking any excursions. It is north of Cancun, so pretty much the only excursion option for you unless you wanna drive an extended amount of time is going over to Isla Mujeres, which is an excursion I recommend. It's a super fun day. The beaches are beautiful. And if you can do a catamaran sail, the, the water and the views are just stunning. So for that reason, anyone looking to do excursions may prefer to stay somewhere more south in Riviera Maya. If you found this video helpful and informative, please give it a like and subscribe. It really helps the algorithm and lets YouTube know what you like and lets me know what you want to see. Thank you for joining me on this tour of Majestic Elegance Costa Mujeres. If you're ready to book your dream vacation, contact me today at my link in the description box for your personalized recommendations. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more resort tours and travel tips. Thanks so much. Bye.